And welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. We're at SHOT Show 2023, and I love finding or hearing about new innovative products that really kick the butt in the industry and stir things up. And that's really going to be the case with the new FX Pantera. Zach, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Alex? I'm doing great. Can you tell us a little bit about what makes this so different, so revolutionary, that it can compete with... The 22. Damn right. Yeah. <laughs> so, about the Panthera, uh, it's a purpose-built gun. Um, it's really for that NRL, PRS type shooting, that tactical uh, state. Um, it's meant to be uh, high volume and, and lower shot count, just so most stages are about 10 to 15 rounds, and we want the maximum velocity, the maximum power every shot. So it is very much purpose-built, um, differentiate from the impact. So what we got here is the plenum is moved up into the barrel here. So the weight is more centered. So for precision, uh, positional shooting, it's a lot more comfortable with the, the balance point being uh, more in front of the trigger guard. We also move the bottle to the back, um, smaller bottle, but like we said, we're just about uh, the low shot count, but the max, the max volume of air getting through there. Uh, we got a reversible cocking lever here. Um, so that is nice for the lefties. Um, you can switch it from side to side, so the lefties can uh, can so shoot. You can maintain this. your 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 pistol, your grip on, on your your hand on the pistol grip, and then also be cycling the action. Yep, you can. Yep. So if you do want to use this in speed, you can. Uh, there's going to be some guys using the bench rest competitions this year, um, so that's exciting to see. You got both uh, gauges, your bottle and your regulator, right here, so you can you can see it when you're on your rifle, making sure you're getting the max max out of your rifle. You got the, the macro wheel here, and uh, so you can do your fine tune adjustments in your micro wheel, and uh, so that way you're getting your optimum speed with the pellet you, you are using. This is a 700 uh, millimeter barrel. Um, it's the longest one that they have out in the Panthera, and uh, what's kind of nice is they they added the Arca rail to this built in, so that way you can, you can move your bipod from front to back. Um, you got your bag stop, which is key to sh uh, precisional, uh, positional shooting. Um, so that way you're, you're engaged, you're locked in, and you're, you're having less sway and wobble. Um, so that's, that's huge on the gun. And we're, we're really excited about this. So. so I guess previously FX air guns didn't have any air guns that, well, I mean, they, did, they do have air guns in 22 caliber. Yeah. But from my understanding, they didn't have any of them that could push the pellet. Yeah. To velocities that'll compare with like a CCI standard velocity in 22 rimfire around mm -hmm. what a thousand hundred seconds, uh, thousand hundred feet per second. Yep. So they put a slug barrel in here, and that came standard, which uh, for being the purpose of the NRL 22 to compete with those 22 shooters um, with the bone stock and a 40 grain or a 34 or even under, you can push that thousand feet per second. We'll be able to really compete if not win uh, multiple matches this year, which is exciting. Well, that's really impressive. And I've uh, and these have some pretty damn low standard deviation here. Yeah, low standard deviation. Um, you're, we've seen multiple times with shooting. It's We, we call it a repeat or um, rep, yeah, repeat. And you're getting the same shot speed over and over again, which is ideal. And the grouping at 100, 200 is phenomenal. Wow. So, we're excited about that and uh, getting these into different shooters' hands and competing. We're excited for 2023. Impressive. Now, the the bottle size on this one is smaller than the one I have on my FX Crown Mark II. Um, what are we talking about in terms of shot counts, let's say, if we're doing a 22 mm -hmm. and we're doing 1,100 feet per second? Uh, so it does vary on how fast, I mean, we're doing 1,000, so probably right around in that 20 to 30 range. Um, you know, as we go faster, we're probably going to drop off. But like I said at the beginning, the stages are usually 8 to 12, 8 to 15. There's not much over that um, per stage. So you'll be able to fill right after each stage and you're ready to go. So in terms of caliber selections, what do we have going for the Pantera? Yeah, so it came on the, the 22, the 25, and the 30. Um, and you'll be able to shoot any kind of slug with them. And then also... Uh, they came out with the 500 millimeter barrel and the 700 millimeter barrel, and they're going to have the 600 following that here shortly, is what I was told. So we're excited. 
Yeah, no, this looks really, really exciting. I think this could be a game changer in the NRL community. Really, we're getting, like, the, the, the struggle is always, you know, getting that perfect batch of ammo. You can't just use the same ammo. It, also, it should also be the same batch if you're running rimfire. And you have so many variables. While this, you know, there's no powder variation. Yeah. HPA is far more consistent than gunpowder. Mm -hmm. So that's, this is really a nice innovation in, the, I think, probably the right direction. Yeah, right direction for sure. And what the shooters are going to be able to do is they're going to be able to sort their pellets um, you know, across lot numbers or across different cans of the, you know, the same grain. And what they're going to be able to do is find the kind of the right flavor for their rifle um, and utilize that to their advantage. Because we know some pellets fly better than others in different barrels and, or slugs as well. And so they'll be able to sort those and really get the maximized uh, precision out of them and uh, output. Well, Zach, thank you very much for taking the time to show us yeah, the new it. Pantera. I really appreciate it. And uh, let's hope we see these out in the field and see how they compete. Yeah. Stay tuned for more SHOT Show 2023 coverage.